love opening in my local bank. As I entered my interviewer's office, I was eager. Eager and determined to impress. So I sat down on that chair, and I looked my interviewer in the eye, and he looked into mine. And he asked, what is your name? I promptly and proudly told him that Khalid Ismail Shabe Murad Ali was my name. He then asked if I was a Japanese Muslim, because apparently, you know, he met one of those. No. A Chinese? No. Korean? No. Ah, uh, Taiwanese? No. Ah, uh, then I got it. You're Filipino. Ah, uh, close, but no. Frustrated, he then asked for my residence visa, my work permit, and a copy of my passport which obviously I did not have. So, to end the charade, I finally told him that I am Marine. Much to his shock and much surprise, he continued our conversation in Arabic, which I promptly told him that I did not understand because I did not know Arabic. <laughs> he ended that conversation then and there, along with the interview, with the final words, what are you? Master of Ceremonies, fellow Toastmasters, and my dear guests, to answer that man's question, I am me, and that me wishes you all a warm The old adage, don't judge a book by its cover, is well known to the world and is a reality in our lives. Every day I am reminded when I look into that mirror that the world is not what it seems. But yet, every day, I have to live these experiences because of the way I look. Why, Toastmasters? Why do I have to face this every day? Because it is human nature. Human nature to segregate, to group, to cast prejudice. Because it is easier for us to keep everyone separate by the abilities that keep us different. This is a natural, neutral conception. Because I mean this with no ill will or goodwill. Because this is not about race, be you Arab or Asian, or nationality, be you Bahraini or Filipino. No. It can be about your religion, be Christian or Muslim. It can be about the food you eat, be you vegan or meat lover. It can even be the music that you listen to, classical, rock, and hip hop. These are the things that we segregate ourselves even down to our personalities, be you a nerd, a geek, a jock. The lists are endless, and we endlessly list all these, all groups, by their norms, their groups, so that in the future hope that we can keep ourselves unique. And because of this, we view the world through rose-tinted glasses, creating racism, assumptions, and stereotyping. The Toastmasters, if this was the case 100% through and through, you and I wouldn't be sitting in this room. You are too small. You're too tall. You're too scary. What is it that keeps us together unknowingly without even thinking about it? What is that secret that binds us together as a club, as a family, as friends? Toastmasters, that secret lies in the human nature's most inherent ability to adapt and evolve. Because the only way that we become who we are is if we accept who we are in every level, every grouping that there is. Only then can we evolve and appreciate ourselves for who we truly are. The secret really is not about making everything the same, but keeping our differences, knowing that our differences make us the same. With that, I use these experiences, these, these troubling scenarios as a way forward for my life. It, makes, it drives me forward to smile and have a laugh for you. In my life, I have a Bahraini father and a Filipino mother, as you know. And that gives me the best of both worlds, both cultures, and of course, all the different kinds of punishments there is to children, be it belt, slipper, rice, it's all there. I am, I do not speak Arabic, nor do I speak Tagalog. But that makes me, my English tongue, the strongest. 
I'm not tall, but that works because since I'm short, I'm cute and chubby. And I'm, I'm happy because I'm terribly afraid of heights. Even last week, I had this weird experience. When I came here to this room itself to attend the YMCA Club Toastmasters. Now this YMCA, just a bit of history, is a strong Indian club. And downstairs on the opposite end was a Filipino Club Toastmasters. And I came to visit the YMCA. So I opened the door, and as soon as I opened the door, everybody on that table looked at me awkwardly and were mouthing something I could not understand. And I was like thinking, what's going on? Until one faithful Toastmaster came up to me and said, so, you're in the wrong meeting. You're supposed to be in the young Filipino club Toastmasters. No, sir. I'm supposed to be here. Oh. See, that assumption I would have used as an offense, but I use it as humor. I use it as an incentive to give me drive to win that table topic session that night, and I did. Toastmasters, everything is in your hands. World peace, harmony, and love. It's all what it takes, it's all inside. Love being you, and live it, because I know I am, but are you?